Do you like offensive linemen? You know what's funny? Some of my closest friends on the field, no. I just, you know, I just think they're big, jolly guys and would love to hold and get a kick out of doing <laughs> dirty stuff. I mean, that's that's how I looked at them on the field. But some of my closest friends off the field and even now being retired has been some of the offensive linemen. What are the things that what what are the worst things that happen to you with offensive linemen? Um, I, I remember um, my my rookie year. I mean, John Runyon. John Runyon was a mother. I mean, it, this dude would hold you, grab you, take you over the pile. It didn't matter. And I just remember his uh his big hairy arms that he had. <laughs> that uh during the game when he started to sweat, it, it was really gross. And he would hold you and 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 try to finish you off or take you over, uh take you over a pile. But do you, do you have respect for the guy who will do whatever it takes to? Now, granted, it's against you. Yeah. And it could be illegal, could be dirty. But is it? Like, I can't imagine that battle that goes on because we don't really get to – we see it, but we don't really know what's going on with you guys. Well, I, I played with one, uh, Chris Dillman. Ooh. He's an offensive guard. I yeah. mean, one of the nastiest guards you can play against. And I always think, even every day in practice, I'm glad this guy is on my team. I remember one running a play in practice, and he actually broke my, no, my nose. Uh, my helmet slid down to on my face mask, and – I cracked the bridge of my nose. I got up and I'm looking at him. My I'm, my face is I'm just gushing with blood, and I'm looking at him like, damn, I'm glad I don't have to play you in the game. Yeah, but you don't want to kill him. No, no. I mean, he's your teammate. No, no, no. Because you you want to go to war with guys. But did you ever do anything that was dirty? Illegal? No, no. All, all of my course hits, not. All of my hits were clean. Really? All of my hits were clean. Legal. Did you ever have a moment where you went, I can't believe I just did that? One, you know, one time I, I got a horse collar in preseason. I think we were playing the Cowboys or something like that. And that was the only flag or penalty I, I, re, I recall getting. Outside of that, no. I wanted to get you between the whistles, you know, where it's legal. There are those guys, though, that would time just after. Like, when you blow that whistle, it was like, Twee! and then they, they hit you right at the end of the e on the pile. Oh, yeah. Well, you, well, you know those guys going into the game. Like Rodney Harrison – Oh yeah, that's a, that's a that's a whole different <laughs> that's a whole different animal there. Would you would you want to be labeled like Heinz Ward and Rodney Harrison were always labeled the two of the dirtiest players to ever play the game? Great players, Hall of Fame caliber players. Yeah. Would you mind that label if you were going to be a Hall of Famer? Yeah. You'd be okay with the dirtiest player in the. In uh, the well, no, no, I wouldn't be okay with it. Okay. Um, you know, because you you have. You know, the whole reason why I got into football to begin with is so I can legally hurt somebody. It was, <laughs> it was like I, I wanted to play for that reason. Like, hold on, I can I can do this to this man and I can't go to jail? It was like, <laughs> this seemed like a pretty good gig here. Did you ever um, get to that moment that Miles Garrett got to with Mason No, Rudolph? and that's that's what's what, what I don't understand because you have so many opportunities to – to you know, be reckless with, with another guy. If you want to not really target or do anything like that, but plenty of things illegal between the whistle. So when you when you see a guy, and no matter what the situation is, take a, a helmet slash weapon and swing it to at a guy who already has his helmet off. I mean, look, there's been plenty of times why I've, why I've punched guys in the helmet and I thought I broke my hand. I'm I don't like, under, why, explain I'm like, why that do you? Me. <laughs> but in the heat of the moment, in the heat of the moment, you do that. Like, I've done that in practice where I've almost fractured my hand, punching a guy in the helmet, and I'm going back and I'm putting ice on my hand in the locker room saying, why, why in the hell did I, did I do that? And that was in the heat of the moment. I, I can't even understand or fathom taking, my, taking a guy's helmet and me looking at him with his helmet off and me swinging as hard as I could at it. But is that why you find these guys who grab your groin in the pile because everything else is covered? Yeah. Well, those those are different type of guys. But, anyway. those, I don't, but that happens. It it is definitely has. It, it doesn't happen as much now because there's so many cameras and so many different uh, ways you can get caught doing it. But it used to happen early on for sure. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on Directv. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.